Nancy and I am an environmental educator with the Green Belt and today I'm going to show you how to focus and use binoculars here and these lens cups they call them or have been pushed back because someone was wearing glasses so if you wear glasses you can push the cups or if you don't you can pull the cups forward Okay, the next part is focusing your binoculars. And if you'll know that they're very flexible, uh, everybody has their eyes spaced differently from one another. And we begin first with uh, looking through the binoculars and on the right side, there's a lens that will actually can be adjusted to your right eye. So you're gonna look up, close your left eye and focus. Okay, and now if you can't get it quite in focus, you can go to the center here and that will do the fine tuning. So I focus with the right and then fine tune it in the middle. And wow, yeah, there we go. So and then you can leave the setting. You can wear them around your neck, obviously. And if you have a bird guide, always take a bird guide to start. You can get it online you can get binoculars online well we might see some cardinals at this time blue jays the wobblers the tiny birds that come in during the first week of may from central and south america those are great little birds to watch they're very challenging because they jump around quite a bit um, oh and also when the days get hotter you don't want to you want to keep bug, bug spray away from your lenses it's very caustic to your lens and then when you want to I'll put them away you can use the soft cloth it came with and put it back in the container for the next birding adventure good point fun little fact anybody familiar with the movie wally the binoculars is what inspired how they made wally's eyes <laughs> so next time you look at that movie you know look look at wally's face and you'll see some binocular inspiration i guess a uh, bird of prey eagle or hawk they can see a mile away like zoom right in what would be a good time of year to see those? Oh, uh, in the fall migration, uh, they're generally more active in the fall. Lots of great stuff to look forward to. And hopefully we got a lot of time to practice be between now and then. Yes, so, uh, please do. It's fun. So if you have a pair of old binoculars in your house, you know, this is a good time to dust them off and learn how to use them better and look for, you know, backyard or neighborhood birds. And by the time the fall comes, hopefully we'll be out and about and we'll be really good at knowing our birds right and it's a, it's a fun hobby and don't give up <laughs> all right great thank you nancy all right